Mount Brandon is a mountain on the Dingle Peninsula in County Kerry in the west of Ireland. Brandon is the highest mountain in the Brandon Group area at 952 metres and the ninth highest in Ireland. I will start my walk today from a place known as Faha, which is a five minute drive from the village of Tlahan. From the very beginning there are plenty of signposts and yellow arrows pointing you in the right direction. Sheep graze on the fields leading to Brandon, so no dogs are allowed and all gates must be closed after you pass through them. The hill takes its name from St. Brendan, the Navigator, who legend suggests climbed to the summit around 530 AD to see the Americas before setting sail. Five minutes into this walk you should pass this grotto. It's a well-known landmark for hill walkers around here. It's also the last chance you'll get to say your prayers before you head for the summit of Mount Brandon. This is the first of many signposts guiding me in the direction of Mount Brandon. From this one I can clearly see the next two. The ridge I am walking on now is known as the Faha Ridge and behind me in the distance Brandon Point can be seen. As I reach the top of this ridge I'm getting my first glimpse of the summit of Mount Brandon and I have to say it's absolutely stunning. Mount Brandon owes its jagged shape thanks to the work of glaciers during the Ice Age, which chiselled out a series of corries on the eastern flank of the mountain. The pathway leading to Brandon is level and easy to walk along, but above and below it, the terrain is steep and dangerous. At times, the rocks above seem to be hanging over you as you walk along, and below, there is a sheer drop. The sky is so clear today, I can actually see the cross on the summit from here. The ground is more rocky from here on in, and the signposts guiding me are now replaced with big yellow arrows painted onto the rocks. You'd have to try hard to get lost on this walk. This is my favourite part of any hill walk, the uphill scramble, and when you're surrounded by scenery like this, it makes it such a pleasure. As I get higher, I can feel the wind is starting to get stronger. I'm almost at the summit ridge now. Once I get to it, I should have an unspoiled view of the Atlantic Ocean down below me. The western slope of Mount Brandon presents a huge contrast from its eastern side. Facing into the sun, it largely escaped the gouging effect of the glaciers, with the result that it presents an almost unbroken grassy slope. The views from the summit are amazing with a mix of mountains, valleys, lakes and islands. It's after taking me a little under three hours to get to the summit of Mount Brandon and I have to say the views have gone beyond my expectations. 
it's absolutely brilliant up here. The clear sky helped, of course. 